Today, we're diving into a rumor that's got the tech world spinning. Is Google actually killing off Chrome OS and merging it with Android? Let's get right into it. So this is the quote that started the firestorm. A top Google executive says they're combining Chrome OS and Android, and suddenly the internet pretty much lost its mind. And the big fear, right? That your simple, super reliable Chromebook is about to get replaced by, well, something else entirely. So let's just cut to the chase. Is your Chromebook about to turn into a giant Android phone? The short answer is a hard no. But the long answer? Oh, that's way more interesting. And it actually pulls back the curtain on a massive strategic shift that's happening inside Google right now. Okay, so first things first, let's unpack this whole merger rumor. Because honestly, what most people think is happening, that's not even half the story. This slide really cuts through all the noise. The myth, the thing everyone's worried about, is that Chrome OS is just, poof, gone, replaced by one single operating system. The reality is much, much smarter than that. Google's keeping the two different experiences that you know, but they're unifying the technology that runs underneath it all. And this isn't some flip of a switch change. No, we're talking about a slow, deliberate, multi-year transition. You know, to really wrap your head around what Google's doing, we've got to talk for just a second about how an operating system is even built. It's all about this thing they call the stack. Just think of it like different layers of software, from the really deep down stuff that talks directly to the computer chips, all the way up to the shiny icons and windows that you actually see and touch. And this is where it all clicks. This is the brilliant part. Imagine a car company that makes both a family sedan and a big SUV. To you, the driver, they look and feel like totally different vehicles. But underneath, they share the same engine, the same frame, the same basic parts. It's wildly efficient. It speeds up manufacturing. It makes upgrades simpler. And hey, if you improve the engine, both cars get better. That is exactly what Google is doing with its operating systems. So if it's not a merger, what does this shared engine idea actually look like in the real world? Let's get into the nitty gritty. Right, so after everyone kind of freaked out, the Google exec came back to clarify what he meant. He was like, whoa, hold on, we are not killing Chrome OS. Instead, what they're doing is rebuilding the Chrome OS experience you know and love on top of Android's core technology. So Chrome OS isn't going away, it's just getting a massive engine transplant from its sibling, Android. And get this, this isn't some far off plan for the future, it's already happening. In fact, you've probably already used it and had no idea. In a project called Floss, Google literally ripped out the old Bluetooth system in Chrome OS and just plugged in the much better one from Android. For you, that meant your devices paired faster and stayed connected more reliably. For Google's engineers, it meant one less thing to worry about, a total win-win. But you have to ask, why go through all this trouble now? Well, this whole move is a massive strategic play. It's all about moving faster, innovating, and you guessed it, taking on the competition. First up, let's be honest, this is a direct shot at Apple. Sure, Android dominates the phone market, but when it comes to tablets, the iPad is still king, holding down a huge 32% of the market. By bringing its software strengths together, Google is gearing up to create an Android tablet experience that can finally go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the iPad. At the same time, Google has this incredible secret weapon, schools. An absolutely staggering 60% of devices in the US education market run on Chrome OS. That's a huge user base that grew up using Chromebooks. By bringing Android and Chrome OS closer, Google can bridge that gap from the classroom to the consumer world, creating one massive, unified ecosystem for everybody. So when you boil it all down, this unified approach lets Google do three things brilliantly. One, they can accelerate their AI innovation, getting powerful tools like Gemini onto all their devices way faster. Two, they make life a whole lot easier for developers who can now focus on one massive ecosystem instead of two. And three, and this is the big one for us, they can finally create a seamless family of devices that work together just as beautifully as Apple's. Okay, enough about corporate strategy. What does all of this actually mean for you? Let's talk about the real world benefits you're actually gonna see on your devices. The holy grail here is a truly seamless workflow. Imagine you start a document on your phone on the bus, you sit down at your Chromebook and boom, it's instantly there, ready to go. Then later, you can make the final edits on your tablet from the couch. That's the goal, making your digital life just flow effortlessly between all your devices with zero friction. And this isn't a one-way street. It makes both platforms so much better. 
Chromebooks will finally be able to run Android apps properly, not in some clunky little window, but as smooth, native applications. And for Android tablets, oh man, this is a potential game changer. They'll get the desktop class features they've been crying out for, a real web browser, powerful multitasking, and proper keyboard support. This could be the thing that finally makes them true productivity devices. But the story doesn't end there. There's one more piece to this whole puzzle, a secret project that Google's been working on for years that could be the true end game for everything we've just talked about. Meet Fuchsia. Even as Google works to bring its current operating systems together, it's also building a brand new one, completely from scratch. Unlike Android and Chrome OS, Fuchsia isn't based on Linux. It's built on a new, super secure foundation. The big idea here is to have one single, flexible OS that can run on everything from your phone to your smart fridge, all with security baked in from the very core. And that brings us to the big, final question. Is this whole Android and Chrome OS unification project just about making today's products better? Or is it a clever way to prepare all of us, Google's billions of users, for a future that doesn't run on Android or Chrome OS at all, but on Fuchsia? Now, that's the big unknown, and we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you.